Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the new lecture of multimedia technology and its applications. So today we are going to study about fundamental of digital audio. So whatever you are going to do in this lecture, this is totally based on digital audio signal. Okay? Yeah, digital audio. So how we can uh, make a sound to be a digital um, how the sound going to be transmit and what is sound <coughs> so first of all coming to what is sound so a wave data is generated by vibrating or object in a medium such as air so let's see if you have a mm, medium let's see to your medium what kind of medium you want and you want to disturb this medium by some kind of a stick or whatever you have to be so when you are disturbing this medium so the sound is going to be generated okay how it can be when this stick is going to be uh, click on the surface of the medium and the sir the medium is going to generate a wave medium is going to generate a wave when a, when a wave is there so it means the sound will be there this is a one example another example uh, you also see a kind of a tuning fork like this kind of tuning fork you guys sign schools so you have a tuning for whenever you can click this tuning for with the pad of rubber and then you can see or uh, you can uh, near the tuning for with your ear then you can be uh, feel a sound a bit sound because whenever you are disturbing at this tuning for this tuning for generating a sound in and this sound will be in the wave form okay so that's why what is sound so a wave a wave that is generated by vibrating object in a medium such as air etc etc so example of vibrating object is vocal cord of a person guitar string tuning fork etc etc okay so when the sound is generated the wave is generated so what we can do we want to convert this sound to the digital audio sound so now coming to some characteristic of a sound so what is the first is frequency the uh, first definition we can be said that uh, refer to the number of a complete back and forth cycle of vibrating motion of the medium particle let's see what does it mean let's see you have a pendulum let's see you have a pendulum and you are going to disturb this pendulum from point O to point A and just yes, you can lift the pendulum now and this pendulum start back and forth motion back and forth motion so now this back and forth motion called frequencies this is the first definition the second definition is number of a cycle so what is cycle start from this point to this then come back to this so number of a cycle this cycle number of a cycle per second is called frequency okay so we can be write like this number of a cycle frequency is equal to number of cycle per second this is the formula for frequency and unit of frequency is hertz hertz and one hertz is always equal to one cycle per second so now what is cycle so this is back and forth motion and you can say this is crest the upper position is called crash the lower position is called trough so what is cycle or what is complete cycle so one complete cycle is the combination of a one crest and one trough this is called one cycle we can say like this we can also be uh, defined like that that from this point we can say from this point to this point again this is two crust the combination of a two crust is called frequency or the combination of two crust is called cycle but which kind of so we will see the combination of a two consecutive 
the combination of a two consecutive crest is called cycle or we can say that the combination of a two consecutive trough is called cycle or frequency okay so what does it mean in a one second number of a cycle in a one cycle so we can we say that that from this point to this point let's see this is one second so how many cycle in one second just one so this is called one hertz what is the frequency one hertz if you can say that start from this point to this point and this is whole is a one second now this whole is a one second so how many cycle one two three so what is the frequency three hertz how much three hertz so frequency is based on number of cycle per second so again another definition that from this point to this point this is called one second and how many cycle in one second one and two so what is the frequency two hertz so why we are taking a cycle or because this cycle is considered to be a frequency so whenever you have a number of cycle it means you have a number of frequency so if you can see your uh, electricity this is called we can say this is a 50 hertz it means in a one second the electricity is going to be on and off for uh, up to 50 cycle like in this position it will be on it will be off on off on off this kind of a uh, fluctuation you can see it in electricity okay so this is all about your frequency this is another example how, uh, from this point to this point this is one second and how many cycle we have one two three four so your frequency is four hertz so the important characteristic of a sound is pitch pitch of a sound so uh, we can say sound frequency or we can say the frequency so whenever the frequency is going to be high it means the pitch of the human or the pitch of the uh, sound is going to be high mostly we can say the pitch of a woman is always be high because the frequency of a woman or girl is is a higher uh, is a higher than the man so this is just be about uh, what is if somebody can ask about a pitch so it is just based on a frequency so you guys know about a human ear can hear uh, human ear can hear a sound ranging from 20 hertz to uh, 20 kilohertz or 20000 hertz this is just a normal range uh, the human can hear the sound so coming to two comparison of a uh, sound sound intensity uh, versus loudness so intensity is a, uh, and loudness is both are uh, different thing so first of all coming to sound intensity so in sound intensity we have an object measurement objective measurement can be measured with uh, auditory devices like a sound in decibel it can be measured in a decibel this is all about, this is about intensity intensity is just like you can see intensity is just like a feel whenever you are forcing on a someone and how much force can experience by someone so this is called intensity so let's see how you have a like this is a wall and this is some wave so how much the force can experience by this wall so this is called intensity so coming to another is loudness what is loudness loudness is a subjective perception measured by human listener human ear have different sense sensitivity to a different sound frequency in a general higher sound intensity mean louder sound in general but up in a practical way so both have a bit of a uh, difference between each other so application of decibel because we measure sound in the unit of a decibel so we guys know about the decibel and and you study it as well in your physics in your data communication in a wireless communication and so on so uh, many audio editing program use a decibel for the audio amplitude uh, 0 db so 0 db means threshold of a hearing minimum sound pressure level at which human can hear a sound at a given frequency doesn't mean zero sound intensity it doesn't mean uh, absence of a sound wave so about 120 db this is called threshold of a pan because the sound is going to be a bit uh, higher or intenser so sound intensity date is standard for 12 time greater than the 0 db so this is about just uh, some uh, characteristic about 0 db and 120 db 
so coming to the uh, adding a sound wave adding a sound wave is based on like you have a concept of uh, interference okay so sometimes we have a constructive interference and sometimes we have a destructive interference so we can say we have a two different sound a single sine waveform just a single sine waveform and we can also say a single tone a tone by the from one someone then uh, then the uh, second single uh, sine waveform okay then we can say a second single tone so it means the two different person are going to be uh, generate or going to be make a sound two different sounds so this is two single uh, tone so then coming the third one a more complex waveform or we can say a more complex sound how it can be occur whenever let's see uh, in a wireless communication uh, when we are receiving a sound so a lot of our sound is going to be interfere with each other at the end we receive the sound then it will be decode and so on demarks etc then we can receive a, a sound so let's see this is a noise and this is your signal just consider it this is your signal and this is your noise and both are going to interfere with each other as a result we receive a complex waveform and we don't know what's happened with the waveform so that's called we can say it is a complex sound wave okay so in a wireless communication uh, so we and every time we are facing this kind of waveform because it's because of a noise and noise is always always be there when a signal is going to be transmitted in a transmission medium so this is a uh, waveform example like we can say that a waveform of a spoken word which is a one is to say one so this is your number of a uh, cycler wave you can see it for a word one this is this is one so if you want to zoom it out set how the frequency or how the wave is generated here so zoom it so you can zoom it so you can be sure like at this position okay if you want more closer so you can see that the a, a sound uh, a words one can generate a wave like this you can say one so if you say one so in a one it's going the pitch of the each alphabet is a uh, different from each other so for one o n e one so that's why the wave is generated in uh, this in this form so it's a closer look for the word of one so now coming to that that we saw the sound in in the form of a analog signal so what we are going to do we are going to convert this analog sound wave into a digital sound or digital audio sound so for conversion of analog to digital you guys already studied that in a uh, data communication and a chapter 4 uh, in the uh, topic of PCM pilot code modulation so again the same process will be applied here so the first thing we are going to do for a conversion of analog to digital that is sampling so we have a analog signal first of all uh, what we are going to do we are going to make a sample from this and given analog waveform okay so analog signal is already be uh, sampled in a specific rate so we sample it here sample it at this position this position this position so this kind of uh, sample we uh, made it in a analog signal using a sampling so what can supposition so suppose we sample the waveform into 10 times so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so how much time we sample the waveform 10 times so it means what should be your sampling rate is 10 hertz simplest thing how many you get a sample sample so that will be your sampling uh, rate so 10 hertz is your sampling rate so now in this picture you can see the clear view of a sample so again the same thing is already simple of sound wave in a specific rate in a discrete sample of amplitude value so the supposition was 10 time 
and the sampling rate was 10 hertz so so it means 10 samples per second from this point to this point this is one second so how many sample we have 10 so what should be the sample rate 10 samples per second okay so this is a basically method how we can uh, make a digital audio song by sampling by quantization so first you are doing a sampling so after that we will do a quantization and so on so the next step in a sampling what we can do we can do the reconstruction of the waveform using a discrete sample point so that was your point so make it a discrete like like a digital now if you can see the digital uh, signal it can be in this form so you are going to do what discrete samples point so we made it in a discrete samples point so analog is going to be converted into discrete or a digital signal now so for example if we, uh, uh, we sample a uh, waveform analog waveform to 20 time in a second so the sampling rate will be at 20 hertz so it's based on your sample if you want to be increase your sampling so you go to increase your sample rate okay so it is for your uh, understanding so how if you are going to increase the sampling rate in a second just in one second keep in mind in a one second we are calculating it so for a 20 time or for a 20 hertz sampling rate so our reconstructed a waveform will be in a this form because how it can now the sampling rate is going to be increased so the sampling point is going to be close to each other now so now this is the three uh, waveform the first the original waveform was in this shape it looked like analog it is analog and sampling rate for a 10 hertz it look like this and for a sampling rate of a 20 it look like this so now we are going to be see the effect of sampling now what should be the effect once we are going to increase our the sampling rate so the effect of a sampling rate is when higher sampling rate for a high so the reconstructed wave looks closer to original waveform when number of uh, sampling is going to be increased so the waveform is look like a original waveform if you can see if you can compare this waveform with this so it's a bit different than this one but if you are going to be uh, look this compare this waveform with the original one so up to some extent not 100 but up to some extent it will be look like this because the sampling and the point is going to be close to each other so it will be look like a yeah, original one so more sample point and thus larger file size whenever you are going to be uh, uh, increase your sampling rate your sampling point so your uh, file size is going to be increased because when you're doing a sampling bit rate will be going to be increased the brightness the m uh, the sorry not the brightness uh, the sound will going to be increased the uh, quality is going to be increased and so on so that's why when the sampling point is going to be increased file size is going to be increased so uh, some example of a sampling read like 11,025 hertz AM radio quality speed 22,050 hertz nearby FM radio quality 44,100 hertz CD quality and so on so this is a uh, sampling rate for different qualities so which is fixed and so you can be compare all these uh, qualities when you are uh, looking to the quality of a sound in this different uh, technology